Well, you guys, this is Rocky Mountain Backcountry. This is an after the trip start to the video. And, um, they heard of getting ledged up. Well, I got treed up. I don't know if you can see that right there or not. It was good. Watch for some of this carnage, guys. Rocky Mountain Backcountry. Hey guys, welcome to the Rocky Mountain Backcountry. I owe you guys an apology. I haven't been on here for quite a while, but you can see in the background, that's been our 4th of July weekend. God bless America. I've got a lot of things going on been building the house I told you guys that I think in the last video it has been uh, time consuming to say the least but uh, it's about seven o'clock in the morning beautiful Sunday morning man incredible look at this I'm gonna take you guys for a quick ride this morning I've got to go, <clears throat> I've got a cattle ranch listed for sale up here on uh, the Monroe Mountain Range. And I'll just take you guys for a quick little ride there. And uh, anyway, hang out, Rocky Mountain Backcountry. Man, you guys. How blessed are we to live in America where we can just go for a ride on a side-by-side -side and enjoy this. Share the wildlife with you guys. A couple deer over there. Oh, there she goes. All right, so this is a piece of private property here on Monroe Mountain that's included in a almost a 9,000 acre cattle ranch and they've done a really good job to keep it private they got it posted and whatnot but as you can see it is a very primitive road and it's some of the coolest riding ever but I freaking love it. So one of the things that I had to come up here and get pictures of for the brochure was all that water down there. There is uh, springs all over this place. Catchment ponds, all kinds of stuff. So... They have the ability to run like 750 cattle. Right now they're running 350. And uh, anyway, it's pretty awesome. Man, just look down through there. Isn't that pretty? Hmm. America. Holy smokes, you guys. I freaking love where I live. Look at that. Whoo-wee. Zoom in on those mountains way out there. Check that out. Hey, there's a steel shot for you guys. Man, I love it. This is Rocky Mountain Backcountry. 
know, I like to get out and set the uh, tripod up and drive by the camera, but I didn't bring the tripod this time. So, you get the rider's view, which isn't so bad anyway. This view is pretty decent. I show you this to tell you this. <laughs> it's fun being in some primitive areas. And uh, I'm sorry, but if you ask me to bring you here, I can't. Well, that was kind of a lie. I guess I could bring you here. If you are interested in spending 24 million dollars on an all-inclusive cattle ranch that would include the cows just a small piece of that man it is just awesome doesn't look real good so over the winter we had a lot of snow and uh, yeah that's what happens tops of trees break land in the road you can also see that there's been a ton of water look at all the debris there's been a ton of water come down through here uh, I don't have much options here. I can either come down and try and bomb over it, which I think I can do, or winch it out of the way. But I think I'm going to try the first. So. <clears throat> Let's see what happens.
Now that I got the winch in, I hope I don't need it again coming down here. I could have just left it out. An underpass. Oh, another underpass. doesn't look good at all told you I'd need my winch again this one's gonna take a minute I got to winch that one off the top and bring it this way and I got to winch that one off the next and bring it this way and then I got to winch that one and bring it that way we'll see if this camera has a time lapse Okay, so the story changes. I got that first log out of the way and what I've done is built a ramp up this backside. If I can get over to there, I'll run the winch out and pull myself over this stuff for uh, reasons that I will not disclose. I can inform you that we safely crossed that obstacle and I don't know that it's gonna get any easier oh see I don't think I'm gonna winch over that one or through it. My only option is to kind of go up and around right there. Don't tell anybody, let's keep this our secret. All right, here's another little moral to the story. Don't assume your winch point is good without checking it first as soon as I put pressure on that tree huh yeah she fell right over and knocked over another one right into my path <sighs> frick all right well uh, you're gonna see this for the first time with me <sighs> well I was stuck, that's for sure. Well, <laughs> there's no other way of getting out of that. I'll have to repent.